an unpredictable mystery. A very gruesome murder. And one great detective, D. Sherlock Holmes, to solve it all up. Hello, fellow bookwesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookwester. Today I have this awesome book to review to you guys one of the greatest mysteries that ever existed. Sherlock Holmes Book 4, The Valley of Fear. Well, some books have all of the books in one, and some books, some books are turned into series, and it's kind of weird, because the book's are old. But, all I know is that it's one of the greatest mysteries. It's by author Arthur Conan Doyle, as usual. And, let's get right on to it. There has been a murder, a very gruesome one, too, at Burlstone Manor, Manor. But how could the murderer have gotten away? There's marks behind the curtains where the um, murderer could have been um, hiding. And there is a blood stain on the window. But it's Burlstone Manor is located in the middle of an island. Well, a kind of an island. It's in the middle of the countryside. And there's an old-fashioned moat with an old-fashioned drawbridge that can actually be, be drawn and put back if you know what I mean. And it was an impossible mystery. How, if the police had arrived in minutes, in an hour, in the minutes of the actual murder, how could the murder have escaped? How? It was impossible. That was why that Sherlock Holmes saw one thing that didn't belong. You see, our dear Mr. Douglas, the man who was to have been murdered, was a very fit man. A man who was very fit. Why would he use such an irregular method of staying fit as one dumbbell? Because there were, there was probably two, but there was only one by the time they came. And this missing dumbbell solved the crucial mystery. And actually, half of this book isn't about Mr. Sherlock Holmes and his Dr. Watson, his best friend. But, the other half of the book is actually about Mr. Douglas and what happened to him. And I'll just say one thing. Mr. Douglas, he isn't dead. And this whole book absolutely twists you around and tricks you for the entire story. I always think after reading these books, how did the author write this book? It's impossible. How did he plan these mysteries? I always wonder. And that's why I probably won't be a mystery writer unless I know how. But it was a great book to read. And sometimes I think maybe if I know the solution, it will be easier to write it. I don't know. But guys, it is a great book, a must read, and the mystery will blow your mind away. And like always, Bookquester, Aaron the Bookquester. Great book, the most unpredictable mystery of all time.